Well, the best part about this house is right over here. It's kind of something new that they're putting in the, all the parades. His and hers. So, uh, if you're running late for the bus or you gotta take off. <laughs> <laughs> from DVS. Thanks for meeting us yep. today. Yep, thanks for coming out. No problem. So we're in his parade home for this spring parade. I mean, they say spring, but it's 30 degrees again this morning. But uh, we're here in Hudsonville on Eagle... Eagle Pass Eagle and Eagle's Pass. Landing. Beautiful ranch. We'll take you around a, a little bit here. But uh, before we do, it's at the drywall stage, at the paint stage, it looks like. We'll show you a little bit what's going on. Beautiful high ceilings. Uh, why don't you tell the uh, people watching a little bit about the process and, and uh, the construction working with you is it usually they bring the prints you get the prints or do you do a little bit of both uh we do a little bit of both we can we have architects we have some blueprints uh our custom stuff people come they always want to make tweaks so it's nice to have the architect they make tweaks and yeah it's just we can pick what they want and yeah it works out this house the people actually lived in this house in illinois they brought it to us they wanted to build it again here and we sent it to our architect, we made a few tweaks, we moved a few walls around, made the space work a little bit better, and yeah. That's exciting. Yeah, we, I've been through the build process twice and I love, you know, even standing right here reminds me of when, you know, our last one and it's, so you get to do this every day. <laughs> every day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so the, um, the time frame to build a house right now, it's got to be a little bit longer than average. What would you say is about the average? Uh, depending on square foot, I would say average right now is nine to 12 months, depending okay. on supply chain of getting stuff. I know windows are a long lead time right now, so there's a lot of preparation before. Sure, it's sure. Make sure that we have everything picked out early and ordered early. So we won't talk about supply chain. Yeah. <laughs> we'll we'll sit, switch subject real quick. We can't talk about the weather. We can't talk about supply yeah. chain. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really cool. What you guys are doing even pulling down the neighborhood, seeing all the, the newer homes getting put up. You know, as a real estate agent, that's a great to see. We got an inventory issue and in even an existing home. So uh, we're we're pushing you builders. Come on, keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Keep going. <laughs> and we got to keep putting specs up and sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So talk, let's walk around this house a little bit, maybe, and tell us a little bit about this one. Okay. Yeah, obviously we have a custom kitchen here. This is going to be a hidden pantry. Nice. So you'll walk through the cabinet into the pantry here. Sure. Um, yeah. Dining areas over here. And we have um, a pretty nice deck. It's going to have a concrete floor on it with a fireplace overlooking the lake. Um, yeah, nice private area to hang out. And yeah, then, this is cool. Yeah, Custom Island, which is obviously under plastic right now. Sure. Um, yeah, this isn't the beauty, the yeah. beauty of it. <laughs> yeah. But this is obviously the construction stage. So, and then, yeah, nice fireplace here with some custom trim work around it. Uh, we'll have some floating shelves on both sides. What's when it gets uh, all done. What's some of the um, trends? Is there some trends that you're seeing that people like in the last couple of years um, that I mean, the, the, we have that same walk-in pantry with yeah. that looks like a cabinet. Yeah, um, so walk-in pantry still. Um, wall uh, wall ovens, sure, people like those. Still doing shiplap, just a little bit different styles and stuff like that. Now that manufacturers are giving us, yeah, they're coming up with different ways of doing it. Sure. Um, yeah, tall ceilings. What double, is this, 10 foot here? Uh, this is 11 foot. Okay. Yep. So. A little bit simpler beams and stuff like that. So some of the stuff is getting simpler, but we're just doing, you know, more different designs. Sure. So let's talk about the um, parade version here for a minute. You've been doing the parades for years. I've seen you. Yep. Yeah, we've been in the parade since 2017. Yeah. So. Yeah. Putting up great yeah. places. Out. Yours is always up there on my favorites yeah. list. <laughs> and uh, I think it's kind of cool how you guys get the house together on time. I know there's some last minute stuff always at our house. They had the Felt like there was 20 people there the last week oh, yeah. getting ready. Yeah, okay. the last week is always crazy. Uh, this house, we actually dug the hole uh, right after Christmas, and we will be done on time. Fingers crossed. Sure. Um, 
Yeah, so, but most of our suppliers, most of our subs know the parade process. They know how it works. They know that stuff needs to be ordered. Right. And they know our parades pretty much take priority yep. because that's where our work comes from. So, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yep. Yeah, so on that note, on that note, how many people, you said um, that's where the work comes from, how many people come through and open um, your parade on a week? I think it's like usually a week long or whatnot. Yeah, so now it's a week long. It's Friday, it's Friday, Saturday, and then the week, and then Friday, Saturday again. Um, depends on where your house is, depends on what your house is. Sure. Um, I've had, you know, total numbers, I don't know, 3,000 people total numbers, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I've had much lower just because we're further out mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. or in a different price point. People like to see bling, people like to see yeah. cool stuff. Uh, some of our less expensive houses are, yeah, they're not all blinged out. And I think we get more buyers coming to those than just people coming to see. Sure, so, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. We, we do a little bit of the, we, we do a decent amount around the parades where we invite our clients out. And, yep. and a lot of times it's for inspiration or check out what's trendy or, yep. or get the dreams going, you know, uh, for that next house or the end house. But uh, uh, we've had it plenty of times where they walk through and they're like, hey, we want to list and sell, you know, they got like, inspiration just from going through the parade, yeah, you know, yeah. and, and uh, it's exciting time. You know, I, I love the construction process and it's fun to see people, um, you know, get excited and, and see the places. Yep. So, well, cool. Uh, let's see. Let's walk around and check out a little bit more here. Yeah. Like I say, it's not as fun to see on, you know, at the unfinished stage, but. Yeah. So over there, there's two bedrooms and a bathroom, just kind of basic uh, bedrooms, bathroom. Here's a front office for her. It's got, yeah, 12 foot ceiling. That's it's got cool. tray ceiling, big window. We're gonna do custom barn doors here that are nice. glass. Nice. Um, so you still get the natural light coming through. And then, yeah, back here, it's half bath. Back here, which the vanity is sitting over there, not installed yet, um, and lockers. And then, yeah, master suites back here. Lots nice of and tucked away, oh, huge yeah. master suite. Nice laundry room that's that walks through to one of the walk-in closets. So it's got two walk-in closets, his and hers. Hers is actually attached to the laundry, which we're actually seeing a lot of that now. Um, just yeah, you know, cl a closet's where your laundry starts. So see, this is getting me ready to build the game. Right? <laughs> yeah. So master bath, which yeah, tile shower is going to go in next week. Tile floors are going to start next week. Sure. The vanities should be in next week. So, okay. and next week, most of the flooring is going to get started. So, perfect. Be, perfect. Yeah, big changes next week again. Yeah. So, a, that's one of the fun things about construction, too. You know, especially from a homeowner standpoint, probably not the same for the builder, but, you know, the, sometimes you go there for weeks in a row and you feel like nothing yeah. is moving. Yeah. But there's a lot of things still moving. Yeah. You know, um, I have to tell my wife that, you know, yeah. they, they, don't worry, they're doing things, you just don't see them. At, they put nail holes, they yeah. caught, they, yeah. were they were here. <laughs> yep. And then all of a sudden, boom, this next yeah. big step. And um, another thing too, that we've noticed over the years, like say customer probably noticed is the, um, at the framing stage looks huge, drywall stage looks small, yep. paint looks back to bit, you know, yep. it switches sizes a few times. Yeah, lots of emotions too. It's, yeah, emotional roller coaster building the house. You get excited at the very beginning, you go have all your meetings, you design your house, you're excited, house gets going, and then all of a sudden you get to the little stages and it's like, nothing's happening. No, oh, yeah, there's there's still a lot happening. It's just, you're yeah. stopping by a house and not seeing, you know, little things. You're not seeing plugs and switches in the wall. You're not sure. seeing putty and stuff like that. And sure. then all of a sudden it's paint and flooring and it's huge changes again. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. yeah. We try to prep people, um, anybody going towards the construction side of things, we try to prep them, you know, hey, it's an awesome avenue, um, it's a great avenue, but I, I literally say, you know, it's gonna test your marriage, it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna test, test everything. Everything. Yeah. Uh, it's always worth it, you know, knock on wood, it's always worth it, but it's, it's, you know, it's a big project. Yeah, and it's real estate, you can't go wrong with real estate, like yep. it's, yep. yeah. For so. sure. Let's, uh, let's talk about the HBA a little bit. Um, you've been a member of the HBA for quite a while. Yeah, um, 2015 maybe, so. And it's, uh, I'm just learning myself more and more about it. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me, um, but it's a great thing for you guys, you know. Yeah, it's awesome. It, it 
there's a lot of benefits to it. Um, there's member meetups, there's stuff like that. We get to meet other people. We get to bounce ideas off of other builders. Um, it's just a good avenue for us. And obviously we have the Parade of Homes. Sure. Um, which yeah. generates work for us um, and gives us a sweet thing for people to come and see. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the HB is great. I'm actually a board member right now. So kind of, yeah, get to see that part of it. and. Fun. Yeah, it's fun. It's it's a good organization. So and yeah, we stay up on the trends. We stay up on what's going on in the industry and all of our codes. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's really cool for once again us, the consumers or real estate agents. You know, we get to, I mean, the, the spring and fall, we just look forward to it. You know, it's yeah. a little showcases. Uh, you know, stuff for us to check out. So keep doing what you guys are doing. Oh, well, thanks for spending yeah. some time with us. Yeah, and no uh, we'll get some uh, shots of the home to. To show everybody, but uh, yeah, this parade of homes. When does it start? This this uh... June seventeen. June seventeen, and it's going to be last for a couple weekends. Yep, two it's... weekends and mm -hmm. the week in between. So you can get tickets online at. You might not know the website. H uh, my gr up. home. There we go. My gr home. Uh, we actually can offer you tickets too as well. You know, friends and clients, VIPs. Um, let us know. It's awesome. Thank yeah. you. Thanks. All right. <laughs>